I'll tell you a job I don't like. What? I wouldn't want to be doing. The, the woman, there's a little woman who sits in the little <laughs> snack stall on Finchley Road. Station. Yeah. And I don't know how to describe it, really. She is surrounded by snacks. She can't move for snacks. It's like, it like American it, Beauty, but with, with, uh, different... Not dissimilar to that. Yeah. It's a little hut on the station. <laughs> yeah. And it's like, if you go to the seaside, you can put your head through one of those cardboard cutouts and it looks like you're a big fat person or whatever and you yeah. can have your photo taken. It's like an equivalent of that, but it's just snacks everywhere. She's got bananas up to her chin. <laughs> She's got chocolate coming down to her eyes, crisps either side of her. She can't move. She can't do 360 degrees. She's like packed in there. I don't think, I don't know how she gets in there. I think morning. they put her in her first and they put, okay, pour in the bananas. Yeah. They go, and then they go, go pour in the nuts. She has and they two just... hours of makeup before yeah, they open. Exactly, yeah. Dressing her in there. Because I'll ask for something from the fridge and she cannot turn her head to see. She, she has just... to go by feel alone just to feel the fridge <laughs> and get stuff out and pass it. And often I'll say that's not what I wanted, but she can't. You gotta let her off. It's oh, extraordinary. Dear. But there's no music playing. Does she there's have nothing. to sell her way out of it? <laughs> if, 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 if it's a slow day, she's stuck yeah. there till the next day. Yeah, it's like a world breaking attempt. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Carl, what job wouldn't you want to do? Well, any job. You're a lazy. F you're yeah. joking, aren't you? Uh, I've done loads of stuff. It's, I'm, I'm, I'm quite happy now doing what I'm doing. Yeah. You but, look uh, happy. I think you I sound happy. Yeah, I mean, it, uh, calm down. You on drugs? I'm all right. Are I you on E? I'm for England have won and that. I'm what? happy for them. Yeah, go on, I'm happy, happy for them. I'm happy in that. Yeah, well, we're happy for them. We are England. Happy yeah. for us. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. I mean, we didn't play. I did very little towards it. No. It was mainly Johnny Wilkinson. Yeah, I barely other... contributed. Switching on the TV was about as much <laughs> as I did. <laughs> exactly. And shouting, come on! Yeah. <laughs> Talking about jobs and that, though, I was reading the other day about, um, like, you know, rubbish jobs that people have had and stuff. I haven't got time when I work, man. <laughs> just, I just get on with it. I'm yeah. not squiddly diddly. <laughs> Fingers in pies, different jobs. Go on. Uh, do you know Ivan the Terrible? Ivan. He, uh... His, yeah, his Russian guy. Yeah, that was the Welsh fella. Who was, <laughs> who was bloody awful, but not as bad as his Russian cousin. Ivan, yeah. go on. He, uh, he had a fella doing some work for him, right? Yeah. This fella built his house. Yeah. Uh, after it was done, right? Yeah. Uh, the terrible fella was like, uh, <laughs> fella Ivan. He, he yeah. was going, oh, it's brilliant. You've, you've done a good job there. Yeah. I don't want you to build another one like that. Took his eyes out. Just stopped him making an house like that. Another one. Blimey. That's why bad, isn't it? Why didn't he take away his trowel? Then he could have seen, <laughs> yeah. but he couldn't have built a house without without a trowel. You can't build a house without a trowel. Yeah. Oh, we, think, I, suppose yeah. He, I, I suppose he probably later thought that, once he'd been nicknamed Ivan the Terrible. Yeah, yeah. He thought, why? 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 Cause you I gouged people's eyes out. Yeah, but I don't want to build another house. I know, but take his trowel away. What would I have been then? Well, <laughs> Ivan the crafty, at most. <laughs> exactly, yeah. Uh, uh, Ivan the jealous, you know, Ivan yeah. the spoiled brat, but... Yeah. Ivan, uh, Ivan go the someone's eyes. That bad. is bloody terrible. I'm surprised you're not called Ivan the... C Do you know what I yeah. mean? You're gonna get on in history like with Vlad the Impaler. Yeah. He's mainly remembered for impaling people. Yeah. He did a lot of other stuff. He did a load of great charity but work he did. The impaling remembered. is the thing that's really yeah. gone down in history. <laughs> when were you reading about Ivan the Terrible? No, it's just Or the Ivan the Terrible <laughs> is the, the the thing you remembered from this uh, informative article? No, it was, it was just little bits like that. Talking about him, there was a thing about, uh, someone who worked for that, that fella who painted the ceiling. Sistine and, Chapel. Yeah. Th okay. There was a thing, the, the, a woman who worked for him in his house and, um... I love how you assimilate information when it's just bordering on the academic or just, or just the interesting and true. It's wonderful. Ivor the Terrible gouged someone's eyes out because built him a house. The f that fella who painted that ceiling <laughs> had a woman work for him. Imagine if you wrote that down in an essay. Imagine if you wrote that in a school essay. Well, you'd probably end up with not, not getting a grade or... Yeah, or, or thinking you turned yeah. up to more than you had. <laughs> exactly. Anyway, the Go woman on. who lived with... Yeah, the woman who lived in the shoe. Go on. Yeah, yeah. there was this woman who, uh, who lived with him and, uh, <laughs> she used to, like, you know, go out and do all this shopping and that. Yeah. Uh, but because she couldn't read or write, he used to have to draw everything that he wanted. Why couldn't he just tell her? I don't know. No, but, but no, 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 wait. That's an excellent point. Could she talk? Yeah, but if it's a big list and that, loads of different coloured paints But why couldn't stuff. she draw, draw on a piece of paper? Why did he have to do it? Because he's a better drawer, isn't he? <laughs> That's the point. That's it. That is, we were just looking for the logic of the story. You found it. <laughs> you done it. Play a record. <laughs> this is the best of show on XFM 104.9. I'm Ricky Gervais with me, Stephen Merchant. Yes.
I hope you're enjoying the best of. I'm amazed that these are the highlights and that we've strung it out this long, Rick. But the good thing about this is, we're not here, we recorded this a couple of weeks ago, just the links, right? This has taken us about ten minutes for the whole show. We get paid the same. Why don't we do this every week? <laughs> That's a great idea. High five. Five. Right. Listen to this clip, it's brilliant. Um, I think that my new TV is too big, Rick. I said that. I know, I don't know what I was thinking. But I, I, I can't believe it. He talked about this buying it. He's got a bit of cash now, of course. And, uh, what is it? 42 inches? Mm. 42 inch plasma screen. What did it cost you? Three grand or something? I don't tell. That's, that's, that's Wow, gosh. it's three ridiculous. Half, three and a half grand. Three and a half grand. Big spender. Uh, of course it's too big. Well, I can't get far enough back in my room, in my living room for it. You know, you know, it, for, you're meant to be, I think, four times the screen size away from it. Really? To get out from the air. So that's four times 42 inches you're meant to be sitting away from it, which is impossible. Yeah. Uh, well, I, I'll have to just get friendly with the neighbours. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, what's it through a hat? <laughs> yeah. if, if that's the case, though, aren't you better off just getting a portable? What? I don't understand that rule. What, what, to get... what are you saying? Well, you're meant to be four times the screen size away from the TV. But that's then what's the, the point in having a big telly if you've got to keep moving further back? Get a portable <laughs> and sit and right sit next to it. <laughs> do see your point. Why do people go to the cinema, then? Did you see films that are out yet? <laughs> Fair enough, he's got you there. Don. i tell you this, though. <laughs> I had it delivered, and, um, I, are you supposed to tip delivery men? Of course you I are. I don't know. You well, said, well, if I, I've never had anything delivered before. I've never well, no, not, if it, not if it's a courier with an envelope, but if it's a bloke who's struggled up the stairs, I two, the door two fat it. blokes with a fridge, then give him a fiver for a drink. But, but the problem was, I didn't realise, and I was thinking to myself, I wonder if I've got to tip him, and the guy was leaving, and my mobile phone went off in my pocket, yeah. and I reached in to get it, he put his hand out thinking it was a tip, I went, oh, it's just my phone. Oh. And I felt terrible after he left, I didn't know, I, I, what was I gonna do, run down the street and now for him a fiver? No. No, of course not. No. I'm not made no. money, I just spent it all on <laughs> TV. <laughs> yeah, I've got no money, mate. Yeah. I just spent it all on yeah. this. I had to clean out my jar, exactly. everything, the drawers. Uh, yeah, I'd take some, um, yeah, bottles back. What, what'd but you, what, I, the problem was it took me forever to wire it in. I thought, I'm not gonna pay for someone to wire it up, you know. So it took me about three hours to wire it in, and it was huge, and I got it switched on, and the first program that was on when I got it wired in was Bargain Hunt, I'll tell you this, David Dickinson's tan almost took me eyeballs out. <laughs> <laughs> it was incredible. It was, oh, it was like, it was like x-rays. It was so the close. glow. You know, a, a huge plasma screen with this orange thing yeah. coming out. And, and he keeps, and he keeps turning to the camera, <laughs> course, doesn't he? Just grin. to get you. Yeah, he turns away, you get a bit close, and they go, what's he doing? And he just turns <laughs> exactly, around, yeah. takes the cornea off. What do you think, Bargain Hunters, Bargain Hunters, Bargain Hunters? <laughs> <laughs> oh dear, well, that's why I'd buy a plasma screen, to watch, um, to watch Bargain, Bargain Hunt. Hunt. I mean, it's ludicrous, this is the problem, is because you, yeah, what do you I watch? I mean, have you watched anything that's been worth having. The I only mean, thing I've watched really worth watching. 24. Well, on, yeah, on 24 works great. But oh. also films, obviously, that's the main reason mm. I bought it, because films just look amazing on the Yeah, DVD on, on yeah. the plasma yeah, screen. So if you're into films and that, yeah. it's just that I only, you know, I've just got the, got the five channels and flicking about, and I'm, I'm not impressed. <laughs> I mean, I can understand why more people listen to radio and stuff. Yeah. Cause, well, not this one, but go on. Well, <laughs> I, when was it? When was, uh, the last time I sort of sat down and had time, because I'm always busy doing stuff on that. Sure. Um... Moaning takes up about three hours a day. Mm. When did... When did Wimbledon, uh, finish? A couple of weeks ago. Right. Found myself sat there, right? I'm not having a go. I know we stopped Cheeky Freak of the Week and all that, right? So Christ. I'm not, I'm not gonna be having a go. Christ. I sat there. I'm scared. No, I'm not having a go. You've always got to remember that. Come on, just, just, just get on with it. Get on, on with it. I'll, I'll apologise after. I'm just saying, watching Wimbledon, it wasn't, uh, you know, one of the major games. It was, uh... Right. Little fellas in a in a wheelchair having a having a game. Little fellas in a wheelchair. Right. But for me, I mean, you know, great. They're doing a the sport and everything. But don't put it on the telly. <laughs> <laughs> what was up with it? It wasn't there wasn't like, a rally going on. <laughs> <laughs> no, do you know what I mean? Do you know oh, normally Christ. like with the with the with your, well, not to Enman, but with some of the <laughs> <laughs> with, with some of the other players and that, they're playing for ages, aren't they? It's like, yeah. oh, who's gonna win this and that? Yeah. None of that. It was just like, hit it, net. <laughs> <laughs> oh, Christ! Oh, God! I don't know what to do! What, 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 what? And people, people would like, sat there watching it as well, when they've got other games going on in there. That's what I can't understand. If you've paid your money to oh, get God. in... Yeah. I mean, like I say, good on them if they'd... Do you know what I mean? But it would've been... I and they all start first in the marathon. I just thought it would've... You know, give him a game of swing ball or something. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. You know what I mean? No, yeah, 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 I understand. <laughs> oh, 
Oh, God. Yeah. There's never anything XFM on. XFM in the community. <laughs> Let's play a tune with Ricky Gervais. <laughs> Ricky Don Gervais. XFM. Don't put my name <laughs> to this last link. <laughs> Don't put my name to this last link. Ricky Dot Gervais, XFM dot co UK. Oh, Magic, God. Virgin, if you're listening, we are available probably sooner than we thought. <laughs> <laughs> well, uh, now time for one of our regular features. Monkey News. Do the jingle. Oh, chimpanzee that monkey news. <laughs> what what we're doing here is, right, is uh just giving you a bit of bit of monkey news that's that's gone on, right? Where a monkey's been involved in it. Good little story in that. Yeah. Uh are you familiar with the one that went into space? The first uh, the first sort of thing they ever sent up there before man did it and all that. You see, this is what annoys me with it really. Armstrong gets all the all the glory, but do you know who went up there before before him? A monkey. Yeah. And what happened is they taught it um what buttons to hit at the time that like, it needed to hit them and and the way they did this was like give it bananas. It was like hit the red button and it hit the red button, they'd give it a banana. Right. And they go, right, reverse is the green one, hit the green one. And then they do that and go, there's a banana. And then they go, right, hit reverse and it go and get a banana. Right. Hit the red. So it was taking commands on like headphones. Right, but how are they giving it the banana? Is that how you learn to do radio? <laughs> how are they giving it the banana? What do you mean? No, well, this is before it went. You don't you right. just go and put a monkey in it and go, there you go, get on with it. They'd sort of put him in one of them capsules that you get. Yeah. And they were on headphones. I, I don't believe this happened. Well, I'm telling you the story now, so the monkey. I don't sat... think they trained it to do anything. I think they sent it up there and he put electrodes coming out of it to no, see what... what it uh, wasn't any of that. They did a thing like they do. Like, right. like they can with animals. If you give something, uh, you know, like a treat, you can teach it how to do it. It's just like a dog, isn't it? When it's you... called Pavlovian conditioning. However, that was to see if it would salivate or go over to no, a particular it, corner, yeah. not if it could control a spacecraft. <laughs> next one up. It's the next one up. It, as far as the, the monkey's not sat there going, oh, I'm a bit under pressure here, it's a rocket. All that's knowing is, I'm getting a banana if I hit that button. That's all the monkey's thinking about. Right? <laughs> they wouldn't, but billions well, of space but dollars. But how can they be sure that it's going to press the button at the right moment? Because it's got headphones on. <laughs> It's not like willy-nilly, it's not just like pop it in there and see that. What's to stop it from just hitting it any old time? Because it's a monkey and it's, it's not a human. Because he's trained now. But oh, anyway, he's trained, so he's listen, fully trained, yeah, go So on. what happened is, anyway... Oh, this is absolute rubbish. They pop the monkey in there, Yeah. it's got his headphones on, they're going, right, hit the green one, and uh, I think there's something there that a little banana comes out to keep the same... <laughs> no, you're making this up. I'm not, it's the same... There's no way that they made uh, a, a right, spacecraft so, so can, that had a <laughs> banana dispenser. Right, like, there's so, no way in this world that they made a spacecraft that could go into outer mm, space, right? So what, so manned you're, so by you're, a monkey mm, with a banana dispenser. So you're saying that it's easy to send something up to space but you don't believe there's a little banana machine? <laughs> <laughs> right, OK, See? so... So it comes to the launch day, Monkeys, monkeys sat in there, uh, everyone's ready, bananas are stocked up and all the rest of it. They go, right, hit the green button. Right, and the rocket goes off and what have you. No, they would not make the monkey launch the rocket. Carl, so, you, are, you are living in a, so, a cartoon world. So the rocket goes off, right? <laughs> this is absolute bollocks! It's all going well. You are, you, I mean, I don't know it's what you're going to... It's, it's not going well. Going There's well. no way a monkey launched it's a going. rocket. There is no way a monkey launched a rocket, so you idiot. It's all going on, so they're going, hit the left button, and, it's, uh, and it goes left. The left, left. button? Right, oh, so. well-known spacecraft command. This is Houston. Hit the left button. <laughs> oh, brilliant. This is what happened in Apollo 13. Hit the left button. So it, you it, are, oh, it you goes are. left. Yeah, it goes left. So it goes left, and it's, it's going away. Left! It goes yeah. left! Yeah. No, the moon! So You're going right! It goes, it goes for the moon, everything, everything's going well. Right. Uh, they get up there, it does whatever it does. It reverse, it comes back. <laughs> So then you are so, honestly you are brain dead. So it's you long, are one of the most stupid people that I would rather have mm, the monkey drive right, me listen, home than you. So the thing is so it lands back. Yeah. It does a good job and everything. It gets out. Um and this it's is sick this of is bananas. this is where this is where it turns a bit sad because after it done that mission, yeah. right? Because <laughs> it happened and it, and it was all safe and everything. The next one would have been to send man. Right. So the monkey enjoyed it, and it was like, well, I want to do it again, right? But they were like... So how did they know that? How did they know just, what it was? Just the way it looked and what have you, it was like... <laughs> Fuck off! Just the way it looked! 
<laughs> so, you, are, you are a maniac. So the thing is, though, right, so after it had done that, it was on such a high, right, <laughs> yeah. it, could, it could never get that high again. Turned there was nothing. Drugs. There was nothing that it could do. Went on tour, did it? It, did, it, it sort of ended up killing itself. <laughs> because it could never, never get that buzz that it right, got. Right, that was absolute bollocks. None of that is true, except <laughs> they sent a monkey into space. And I'll, and I'll, um, I'll check that. Absolute drivel. So, it, in your mind, it committed suicide. It, had a, it went on a crazy bender of drinking drugs and women. And like then, it, does, it does happen, you hear about it. was found it. in a motel about. room. I met uh, Derek Akora the other week. Oh, yeah. Right. And, and who's he? Which one's he? He's a... Uh, is, he, is he a medium? He can contact the dead, is that right? He just chats to him and that, sure. passes messages on. Nice of him. So I said, oh, tell us something a bit weird and that. So he mm. said, what do you want to know? I said, just, just something weird. So he goes, all right then. He said, uh, here's one for you, right? And he said, uh, there's this pub out in the country. And uh, he said, there's this mug. Do you know those old mugs that they have where they used to... They used to, like, leave their own cup knocking like about, didn't they? Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. The tankard thing. Yeah. So, uh, so there was there was one of them mugs in there, right? And everybody... Tankard, like, let's use a tankard if we've established right, that. Tankard, tankard, yeah. Because yeah. you're the only mug in this story. Right. Nice. Believing it all. High five. <laughs> Great. So this tankard's knocking about, right? And everyone who's running the pub keeps going, oh, I wish they'd stop leaving this tankard about, right? Mm -hmm. And they pick it up. <laughs> it must be a pain. <laughs> Having a, a tiny, small tankard in a pub, that must be a real grind. So, so every t they sort of picked it up and went, we'll have to wash that, and they popped it on a different mm. sideboard. Next thing you know, that person who's touched it died, right? Sure. <laughs> so, <laughs> they must have been getting through bar staff. So they got, so they kept getting a new staff and that, and they were like, oh, what's the connection here? Right? <laughs> <laughs> what's the connection here? Oh, God. So they get a vicar in. Of course they do. And they go, look, um, there's a lot of weird stuff going on here. This this tankard. Every time someone touches it, they die. So he said, "Leave it with me." He gets his um, special water out and what have you. He comes round, does a little prayer, sprinkles it. He goes, "Right, not a problem. Don't worry about it." He picks it up, chucks it in the bin. Guess what? What? Dies in a crash on the way. Because he picked it up. Well, but 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 Carl, you're telling me this like it's fact, and I'm meant to go. That's amazing. Derek Akora, he told me. <laughs> It's Carl, I have, I have, I have, I have no opinion of that story, other than I'm pretty sure there was absolutely no connection between touching the tankard and him dying. That's all I'm sure. It's of. not just him, though, is it? I, I, I'm, I, I'm, I, you know, I'm not going to even um, uh, contest the, the chain of events. All I'm saying is there is no connection. There is no connection possible because I believe in logic and the laws of the universe. Yeah, but what I mean, you never pick up a vibe of. Like, I, I, I've got a mate, right? who uh, is, is living in this big stately home, right? And he's living in there now. He pays £100 a month. There's about 80 rooms. Jeez. And uh, it's this big stately house, might have you. And I went, I went down there. He said, oh, come down and have a look, right? And from outside, you go, oh, this is brilliant. It's like something out of, you know, like the Man of Bourne or something. You go, this is, this is impressive. But then when you get in, it's like, it's a wreck. And, and we go in. And all the floors are like a wreck and rotten and stuff. And I looked at the wall and there was like a little piece of paper stuck on the wall, Ooh. right? And I said, what's this here? So I wandered over, right? Got right up close to it and somebody had wrote it. <laughs> <laughs> somebody had wrote it? No. Oh. Some... Somebody had wrote it. Right. Like, I love someone... this. Right, go on, yeah, go on, so, sorry. So sorry there's, for... there's a little sign there, right? And I go up to it and it says, flies, right, with an arrow. Flies like flies this way, yep. right? I think that's that's a bit weird. So I follow the arrow, right, which goes to this corner where there's a shelf, about three thousand dead flies on it. Oh my god! Condom stuck on the top. <laughs> <laughs> that's, right. that's weird. Isn't that it? is weird. That is that weird. Is weird. Right? So I'm looking at that, and there's there's loads of stuff on the floor and that bits of paper. Picked up this bit of paper, right, and it had. Uh, like in Biro and that, it looked really old, like it'd been there years, and it had uh, uh, something like need nappies, dummy, right, uh, blankets, blah, blah blah, all this like all stuff for like, and I turned it over, right, and it said none of this now needed, baby dead. <laughs> right. <laughs> now that's weird, isn't it? Now that's what I'm talking about when you get a bad vibe. You go, that's that's who's been in here. 
it's bad vibe is just based on the fact that your mates in charge. <laughs> yeah, that's terrifying. <laughs> I mean, yeah, so it's like saying, are we scared of the dark? Yes, it's, I understand why people are scared of the dark. I'm a little bit scared of the dark. You're walking along. Because you, you don't know what's in it. Yeah, you don't yeah. know what's in the darkness. That's why people get nervous. It doesn't mean you have to make the leap then that you've got some paranormal sense. Oh, my God, I'm Carl Pilkington. And hang on, just like Derek Akora, I have sensed something strange and evil in this room. Wait a minute, there's some flies in a condom. <laughs> I was right all along. That is weird. Flies in a Johnny equals badness. <laughs> the, the, the flies in a condom was weird. It's enough. weird. I don't know. But, it's but, but the note. The note. Yeah. I just think of his face when he saw that. Reading it by torchlight. You must have been terrified. It's a bit. It's a bit odd, isn't it? Yeah. Right, yeah, it is quiz time. Three. <laughs> this is what, this is the moment we've uh, all been looking forward to. Uh, on, do you want to uh, tease him with the prizes? No. <laughs> not really, because they no. might not bother phoning in. Or, <laughs> or it's not a phone, or is it? It's an email. All right. Yeah. Okay. Well, let me, a quick reminder. Then we got to the office. I don't want people to think that we will just keep plugging the office DVD. We've got nothing else to give away. No, no one gives anything away. No, no that's just hanging around in Carl's little room. Did you get a guy from HMV just to nick? Did you get a guy just nick these from HMV? The, 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 the beard and the ponytail. Was that yeah. the story? <laughs> so we got the Office uh, DVD, obviously. Uh, we got uh, the remix, uh, XFM's remix album, uh, Volume 2. That's uh, sort of remixes of various tunes. Quite a good little compilation album here. One of those kind of the best Coldplay, Travis, Oasis, blah, 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 albums in the world Excellent. ever. Excellent. Let's uh, some of them, because yeah. there's nothing in the library. <laughs> exactly, have a look on there. Four Alanis Morissette, nine Catatonia. <laughs> I just counted that. But thing. uh, the big one, the big star prize that you're all playing for is, of course, the DVD <laughs> widescreen version of Children of the Corn, <laughs> Stephen King's horror film, lest we forget it's got Peter Horton. <laughs> as the star, <laughs> so so look forward to that. Um, are we we're going to uh, give Shadow away separately? Are we? We're going to uh, do that separately. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, we'll, yeah, we'll, yeah, we'll, yeah. we'll give away the, sh the DJ Shadow tickets at a separate. Right. So we're playing for those DVDs and CDs. And what and we're it's an email do, competition. Don't bother e phoning. Email. In. Yeah, the phone lines are lighting up a bit. So put the phone down. Get the computer started up, yep. and it's ricky.gervais at xfn.co.uk if you know the answers to these, right? And the way it works, we did it last week, but if you didn't hear it, I give you some initials and like a bit of a cryptic clue. So, and, uh, you work out who the band is or the artist, right? Okay. It's always, it's always a band or an artist. It's not any TV programmes and that. Uh -huh. So, uh, say, like, last week we had, um, uh, we had S, didn't we? And it was, uh, better than the average homeless person. And that was Super Tramp, right? Mm -hmm. So it's not always XFM music, it can be anything. And there's three of them. Um, they've got to get all three of them. You've got to get all three Think and email in. I know. How long this intro so far has <laughs> exactly. taken? Yeah, but 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 here we go then. Right. right. First initials, L R. L R. L R. Okay. Right. Yeah. And the cryptic clue is. Uh, I'll you should have thought it through. You should have thought it out before you came in. Yeah. yeah. Cryptic clue. You've got it. Yeah. Um, I'll take that book to the toilet with me. I'll take that book to the toilet with me. Yeah. Yeah. L R. L R. I'll take that book to the toilet with me. And don't shout out if you know the answer, cos... No. Nope. No idea, Carl. No idea. Right, okay, so there's one. Right, the second one, F L. F L. This one's actually been emailed in as a suggestion. Okay. Uh, that person who's done that, don't email in, cos you're disqualified <laughs> from the comp. Uh, so... <laughs> I'd love him to be a teacher. So... <laughs> It'd be great, wouldn't it? Just to see him one day. Can't we do that? Can't we get you a placement somewhere to, for you to teach history to sort of like, you know, 14 year olds? I think like. science, Rick. Science would be good, yeah. Right. Uh, 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 I'll tell you what. Go uh, on. They, you got a lot of, um, t just quickly, for me, Carl, explain, say, um, what can we get him to explain that everyone uh, learns as a kid? Science. Uh, photosynthesis? <laughs> 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 right. So F L, right? Yeah. F L are the letters and the cryptic clue. Blow the candles out before you eat the cake. Blow the candles out before you eat the cake. Yeah. Blow okay. the candles out before you eat the cake. The letters there. F L. All right. right. We got L R. We got F L. Yeah. And finally, the third one. N S. Hold on. How many have they got to get? Three. Three. Don't worry. There's no more after this, really. right? N S. How can I wash up in something shaped like that? <laughs> right, that's one of mine. <laughs> <laughs> so, so very quickly recap, just in case we missed any. Oh. L, L R is the first one. L R. I'll take that book to the toilet with me. Cryptic clue. N. Uh, we had F L. Blow the candles out before you eat the cake. And the final one, N S. How can I wash up in something shaped like that? If you think you know the bands, you just email in ricky.gervais at xfm.co.uk. You win the DVDs, the CDs, and, uh, that's it.
Yeah, he's, he's great, isn't he? I could just, I could sit here and watch him all day do this. Well, um, so Ricky dot Gervais at XFM dot co dot uh, and we'll give the answers out just before you know we finish because okay. then we'll keep them up. Competition answer time is it, Carl? Yeah, we did. Uh, we did this like uh, about an hour ago. Rockbusters. Yeah. Rockbusters. With Carl Bilkington. Yeah, uh, I gave you some initials. The initials sort of uh, made up a band. We had LR. We had. Uh, NS. Yeah, just give us the clues and the answers. What? Right, so LR, the clue was I'll take that book to the toilet with me. The answer Lou Reed. Lou Reed. Good. That's very good. That's very good, Carl. All right, okay, next one. FL, blow the candles out before you eat the cake. Yeah. We just play them. Flaming lips. There we are. Okay, and the final one was NS, how can I wash up in something shaped like this? Yeah. That was N Sync. All right. Carl, just briefly. This is, uh, module, uh, 4A, uh, natural history, yeah? yeah? Just, just briefly explain, um, uh, evolution. Since, you know, natural selection, origin of the species, Darwin, like, just briefly describe. That's the monkey thing. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, isn't it? Oh, well done. Yeah, go Great on. Tune, Carl. What, we, don't you have fancy playing? Um, Rick. I know you're always keen to rejuvenate the reputations of certain artists when you think maybe they've been kind of unfairly treated in yeah. the, uh, history of rock and roll. Yeah. I'll tell you a band I've always thought has been treated badly. Yeah. The Lemonheads. Go on. You with me? Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Lemonheads, if I could talk, I'd tell you. Yeah. He wrote some good little tunes, Evan yeah, Dando, before he went good. to the potty. What would you rather have, right? Hey, w Carl, would you rather have a lemon for a head, <laughs> a radio for a head, um, what other band is there with something head? Radiohead. Oh, you've done that. Yeah. <laughs> or a talking head. <laughs> <laughs> right. Third one. No, but you don't know what. It, it, no, because you've got you, and then you've got uh, someone else's head on top, and it, it doesn't shut up. It's my head. <laughs> it's my talking head coming out of your head. Yeah. So a radio head, just a radio head, and you can tune in, right? You know, you said there, Carl, that <laughs> wasps were one of the most irritating <laughs> things on the planet. Can I offer another suggestion? <laughs> yeah. You with me on that? Uh, oh, I, I am <laughs> No, today. go on then. Okay. Educating Ricky, we got, we got, we got two left, don't we? I'm looking we've forward to these. We've still got two more. We've still got, uh, if only it was raining. Mm. And, uh, what's tomato with you? <laughs> <laughs> the way he says it! I'll tell you what, I wish the listeners could see how happy he was when we started getting emails coming in. Oh yeah, people, they're flooding in, actually. Yeah, and he's oh, so happy, he started dancing along, going, well, that proves it's a good competition, he's dead! Look at that, look at that! Oh, look at that, mate. What? There's look loads of people that. emailing there. Yeah. And I'll tell you, I'll tell you what it is, Carl, it's not the competition, it's this, Children of the, the Corn! corn. Widescreen DVD! <laughs> Next week, some staples and pencils! <laughs> I'll tell you what. A piece of carpet! <laughs> I'll tell you what, right? What? Now we've got them and they're staying. Something we, we've still got to do. Yeah. Is, uh. He is running the show now. He's doing well, isn't he? Because I've done nothing. I've done nothing towards this. I'm coming up my hangover a little bit if you're worried. Remember, remember, <laughs> so, go remember, on. Remember last week we yeah. started a new feature called, yeah. uh. That song's got a good story in it. And, Brilliant. And I love your catchy titles. They're excellent. Right. And the idea was it was a story in yeah. a song which meant that if it was played on the radio you couldn't just like fade it out because you've got to have the full story. Yeah. Right. Well last week we started the feature with Stevie Wonder, uh, Living for the City. Yeah. Right. But you yeah. played the version where it fades out. Yeah. I didn't know there was more to it. So Steve told me what album it was on. Yeah. I've gone and got it. We've got the second half to that story. Yeah. This week. Yeah. So, you've got half the story, what was it, what had happened is like, <laughs> the lad's living in Mississippi, there's not much going on there. Mississippi? Is that, that's that someone off Rainbow's mum? Yeah. Um, living, what, Mississippi? Yeah. He, his dad's, was his, his mum was a cleaner. Yeah. Trying to get by, they didn't have a great life, but they still looked after the kids and yeah. stuff. There's more to it than that. Have you got it ready? <laughs> There's more yeah, to it than okay. that! I, I should hope so! We'll probably do it at about half past three. So look okay. forward to that, the second it's half of that. Stevie Wonder's Living for the City <laughs> a week later. <laughs> <laughs> I love a show that's carefully planned. Uh, so listen, that, I, I'm, I watched got, the tomato This isn't thing. a show, this isn't a show. This isn't a radio show. This is, <laughs> I don't know what this is. No, I don't know what it is. <laughs> we, we just might as well start banging tambourines and uh, it's ridiculous. <laughs> this is rubbish, right? But why <laughs> some people emailed in, <laughs> put him in a wheelie bin, went to Blackpool, right? Um, some people emailed in the stories, songs with stories in it. One of them was Babushka and he went, what's that? 
And I went and asked Katie Bush, I went, what is it? I said, oh, it's about a woman who dresses up as another woman to introduce her husband. He went, they wouldn't work. <laughs> <laughs> Just dismissed it like that. Why do you think they would work? Because you'd, you'd know. I mean, say like, say like, um, right, Suzanne, right, who yeah. I go out with, yeah. right? She can see me from, say, if I'm coming down the high street. Yeah. She knows it's me by the way I walk. <laughs> right. So, just the fact that this woman went and put a wig on, there is no... <laughs> you haven't even heard the song! I know, but you're saying that she put a disguise on and he's yeah. like, oh, I fancy her, and he texts her out and he, he doesn't know it's his missus. It's just... <laughs> You're not, you're not buying it. I mean, I'm, I'm controlling this Where is the flea? Where is the flea with your brain going to Glasgow? Perfect sense. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Babushka. Rubbish. Carl, can we have the tomato story after the next tune? Yeah. Bit of cold play? Yeah, I love it. Yeah. Hi, it's there on XFM 104.9. Right, we've got a competition question. Steve's come up with it at the last minute. This is just to check if you are a regular listener of the show. Yeah, okay. we would like to reward loyalty. Exactly, absolutely. So, um, last week on the show, Ricky described a story that happened to him uh, back in the 80s when he was making his TV appearance on Razzmatazz with his band. And he tried to, he had to fly out, was it to Newcastle? Yeah. And um, he tried to get on a plane, and a pop act of the 80s tried to help Ricky sneak aboard an aeroplane. But failed. But they failed to do it. At the height of their powers. And they were at the height of their powers. What was the name of that outfit? Should we put them on the line? Absolutely, let's hear well, it. There's, there's the people there already. This is to win Incubus tickets. Please do not be mental. Don't be mental or swear or say anything libelous or nasty. Yeah. Just be nice. You won't, you won't win if you're not. Go on. Hello? Hello? Hi, who's that? Oh, I've got my headphones on, haven't I? Put your headphones on, Rick. I'll just oh. keep her talking. Oh, no. Hey, how's it going? Hello. Okay, hello. Hi. Hello there. What's your name? Lindsay. Lindsay, where are you calling from? I'm um, Clapham Junction. And do you know the answer? I do. Is okay. It, Fizz? it was indeed Bucks Fizz. It was the Fizz. <laughs> yeah. It was indeed the Fizz. Well, do then. you like Incubus? Um, yeah. Right. <laughs> right. Oh, yeah, you see, if I was interrogating you, <laughs> I, I, I'd go, you hesitated. Yeah. There's so many people phoning up who are desperate for these Incubus tickets. Please don't make they this are right to, to you. No, no, to be fair, they're rightfully yours. Right, I'll you... tell you what, why, I'll have a t-shirt if you give them the tickets. Okay, Could is that just any old t-shirt or... No, no. Can we, uh, can we send you a t-shirt? Carl's nodding. Right, we think we can send you a t-shirt. Right, um, we'll get you a t-shirt. How, how, how are you going to do that then, Carl? Because you've got to take her name and everything now. Yeah. <laughs> this is pathetic. <laughs> this this wouldn't happen with Dr. Foxy. Have it Foxy all wouldn't do this. Can I, can I say as well, there's a bank, um, there's a train station with one vowel. Yeah, but there's loads, aren't there? He hasn't thought it through. No. Bo as well, there's many. Listen, no. Carl, they yeah. get over a number. It can't have been that. I can't remember it. What was it? I remember I tried it the last time I tried this it. This is a shambles. And I couldn't work it out. Then there was, there was wrong answers. I remember Aldwych came up. Maybe right. it's Aldwych. What's, what? What's oh. Carl doing now? What? Who's he talking to? I don't know, he's talking to her, but what? This, look, quick, let's think of something. Come uh, on. Tell her, are you still on this line? No, she's, he's picked up the phone now. So what am don't I doing? Shit, we're giving away. We're, look, we're letting people behind the curtain. Let's keep up this veneer of professionalism. This is so rubbish. Come isn't on, it? no, no, no! It's don't, okay. don't draw attention to it. Okay, all right. Uh, but let's just talk and make. So, uh, Steve, what, hey. what, what are you doing tonight? Looking forward to pop stars. <gasps> looking forward to a lot. Who, Who do you want to win? I'm glad you've asked, Rick. Um, I'd love to see Darius have a bit of success, but I don't think it's going to happen. Um, I think uh, it's probably going to be the stutterer. I think it is going to be um, Gareth. He has a name there, Steve. <laughs> um, I think it's going to be Gareth, yeah, apparently sure, in the sure. polls in the week he's getting twice and we're back, don't we? Okay. Alright, Carl, um, so, right, okay, so she's getting a t-shirt, is she? Lovely. Right, is we, who's, who's that on the line? Next contestant. Hello? <laughs> this is amazing. <laughs> An error? Uh, I mean, we couldn't do this worse. <laughs> Go on. Exactly. Hello? Hello. Hello, Hi. who's that? It's Dan. Dan, hello, Dan. Danny. All so, right, do mate. you want to go to Incubus? I'd love to, man. Okay. Hold on, this is pointless because he's just heard the last. Uh, he's heard the answer. Yeah, it's definitely Bucks Fizz. This is mad. We didn't think this through. <laughs> no, but let's be honest. It, he wouldn't have been on the line if he didn't know the answer. Are you cheating, no. Dan? Dan, he said he's not cheating. For uh, this is fail safe. <laughs> That's fail safe. This is our rigorous. <laughs> I can't Screw believe this. this. Uh, Dan, you're going to Incubus. Oh, cheers, uh, man. Well That's done. Well done. Oh. Nice one. Thanks cheers. for listening. Cheers. Oh. Carl, what do we have to do? Do we just hang up, or what happens? No, you play a song and. Play a song then. You've got oh. his details. Yeah. Oh, play God. it. Be there. Just today. That reminds me of this Christmas where my 51 year old brother wouldn't let anyone near the PlayStation 2 because he was playing Gran Turismo. And he has to build his car up and buy it. He just played it from about 6 o'clock till sort of 3 in the morning. Was really? it bought for him or About 3. Uh, I, d I don't know, but, but we, we had to watch him. <laughs> 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 <laughs>
Why that song particularly? Uh, Why it's that on. Song? It's on it. Oh, it's it's the, it's I think I think feed a feature all over it, don't they? On the right, on the, right, on the right. soundtrack, yeah. So there you go. <laughs> Yeah. I was on the tube the other day, Rick, so oh. I was just coming into Finsbury, uh, Finchley Road, Yeah. and uh, I was on the train, I, 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 mean, I know you don't travel on the tube anymore, because no. you're too famous, but... Um, I, I never did. No, no, fair it's, it's not that I don't know you recognise, it's just that it's beneath me. <laughs> fair enough. And, um, <clears throat> and they're on, on the tube in the each carriage, on these newer ones, there are kind of these uh, flaps that are normally locked closed, and there was one of them that's swinging open, and inside there were various buttons like on-off, you know, self-destruct, whatever. <laughs> yeah, but yeah. But seriously, like doors operating. Train so. quicker. Exactly. And you were thinking, like, you don't want some, you know, kind of oik sort no. of fiddling around pressing buttons and stuff. It could be quite dangerous. Yeah. So I got off a feature and I thought, I'll, I'll be a good commuter. I'll mention this to the staff, and and they'll probably, you know, they'll, they'll they'll thank me for it. And if it's an attractive young staff member, you know, I mean, they never are on the tube. Have you ever seen an attractive member of staff at a tube station? Oh come on, steady. They on. are such freaks. I no, mean, I know that's the pot kettle they're all, black. Thing, they're all from Devon, apparently. They're grotesque people, really. All right, steady on. And uh, so anyway, I went up to this guy. I thought the uniforms don't out though, do they? They don't. It's pretty grim. And so yeah. I went up to this guy. I said to him, "Excuse me, I was just on the train there, and um, there was a flap open. I could see all these buttons." and things. He went, right. I was like, yeah, well, I just think, you know, it might be, you know, you know wandering hands, a small child or something. Yeah. Right. A small yeah. child? He went, he went, what carriage was it? I said, well, I don't really know what carriage it was. I just, maybe the next stop someone should come and check. He went, well, how are they going to check if they don't know what carriage it's in? <laughs> <laughs> And You're at fine. that point, I just thought, I just wanted to smack him in the face. I just thought, uh, you know, I'm in a hurry. I've got no reason. There's no gain for me about telling this. It's not going to help me out in any way, not financially, nothing. I'm I just going to help you out, and that's your attitude. And I was absolutely I know. Livid. I'm getting so intolerant in my I old age. I won't. I can't uh, uh, stand bad, it. Bad service, bad attitude, just, uh, oh, it drives me mad. It makes my blood boil, and I, oh. Livid. I was one time, right, I was down in the centre of town. This was after some of the big explosions, the IRA had you know, various things. And everyone was on kind of bomb alert, very nervous, very scared. And uh, there was a, a, a sort of a bag in the street, you know, this was the centre of London or whatever, and, and my friends and I were a bit edgy, but a bit nervous. And we're outside this pub and we saw the bag and we thought, maybe we should sort of tell, we'll tell the landlord from that. So we told the landlord, right, and he, he came out and he looked at it and he thought, oh, you're right, lad, it does look a bit shifty. Um, and this is what he did, this was his security measure, right, <laughs> he was going to call the police, but in the meantime, he picked up one of those sandwich boards that <laughs> advertises what food's being served in the pub, just placed it over the top of it. Yeah. Yeah. That's, I mean, that's a fail. So that is least. what the bomb disposal unit use <laughs> exactly. very often. That like, you see them uh, up and down Oxford Street. They're they're not people, se um, you know, selling stuff. Sure, that's just that's they a bomb will leap on a bomb. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, yeah. 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 Well, I love the idea because what we did was we moved about a hundred yards down the road because we thought if the bomb goes off, we want to see it. That'll be dramatic. Yeah, we don't want to get <laughs> yeah. you know, injured. Yeah. But I love the idea of like a, a sandwich board flying off into the air, <laughs> just embedding itself in someone's head. Yeah, well, no yeah. one would have been injured. Who do I sue? That sandwich board. Well, that was that was Ron, the landlord. <laughs> exactly. Yeah. My God, is that? Is that is that a Cumberland pie for five ninety five? I can't believe I like. <laughs> John, I think there's something more serious. There's a anyway, um, <laughs> paramedics going. I can't. Ninety nine p a pie. <laughs> it's pretty. I'm going to come back here. <laughs> so anyway, so listen. He calls the police, right? And so after a while, about you know, it's like forty minutes later, and I think the police do a good job. I'm not trying to make down on the police. I think it's a, it's a good job, and I I respect the police. But um, this this police van turns up after about forty minutes of waiting, right? And this this guy leaps out of the van and he goes, "What? You're the guys who reported this, are you?" We went, "Yeah." He went, "Right." And he looked at the bag and he picked it up, he unzipped it, and there was just some rubbish in there, he just, and he just looked, he just threw it at us, he went, there's your bomb for you, and threw it at us, to teach us a lesson, and then got in the van and drove off. And it was like, uh, oh what, what lesson are you teaching us about what did being you do? You, you presumably reported him, did you? Well, of course we're not, what's going to happen, you know, it's not. Do you know what I think? I think he thought it was a bomb. Right. And he was trying to blow you up to teach yeah. you a lesson. Well, possibly. That's just, bad. That is just, really bad. It just winds me right up, stuff like Once, that. Once, right? Uh, it's, <laughs> but me and Bill, we, we had sort of, it was like 1983, and we had like extensions and um, cut off t shirts and jeans and. Uh, Sexy. Uh, yeah, you know, like make it all new about it. And we were just eating chips on a corner, right? And this, it was a Saturday, so I assume it was like. Um, um, <laughs> <laughs> football patrol, about 12 police, in the car, and they sort of slowed down and looked at us, and he wound the window down, and the bloke driving shouted, you look like a couple of prats. <laughs> Bill turned to me and went, is that an offence? <laughs> and I remember <laughs> wanting to laugh at the joke, but thinking, that's annoying. Yeah, of <laughs> that is annoying. They were right. Well, yeah, but no, they were right. right. Yeah. It's not really a police issue, I don't yeah. think. Someone called into uh, HQ that morning. <laughs> Guys, if you see anyone looks a bit, uh, you know, the fashion police. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah, looks, uh, <laughs> yeah. a, we've heard a bit. There's a bit of a, uh, a to do. Apparently, a couple of prats are walking round. 
Yeah. Uh, uh, we need someone to go on fashion police <laughs> patrol. <laughs> Send in Lawrence Llewellyn <laughs> Bowen. <laughs> oh dear. But you know, we we respect the police. Yeah, We're not no, really. I'm not having to go. It's just those few that give them a no. bad name, really. Yeah, exactly. High hey, five for it. Hey, five <laughs> five. I think the boys in blue do a good job. They do. They do. And so the firemen. Yeah, especially well. firemen. I remember once. This is really embarrassing. This is the arrogance of youth, right? In a, in a hall of residence, every time someone did toast. The fire alarms went off. I remember once it was like two in the morning, and we were at the go outside, and it was just toast set off the thing. But it it was linked, and about eight fire engines turned up, and I, I they were all coming in right, and I said, "Oh, this is so embarrassing. Why am I telling this?" Go on. I just went. There's enough of you. God. And the fireman quite well said he just went shut your mouth, man. Yeah. And I thought. Oh God, he's right. He's one of those you remember ten years later. Yeah, go, that's a horrible thing. What a tw I know, but I, I when want you're to eighteen, publicly and... apologise oh, to the I'm fire so brigade. Sorry. Man. I'm so sorry. Because I, I never did oh. stuff like that. Oh, that is twice. I was too busy saying, "Can I try on your helmet?" <laughs> 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 oh dear. Oh, we better play another yeah, song, haven't we? Oh, this is uh, um, a great track. This is uh, Groove Armada. It's from uh, the album Goodbye Country, Hello Nightclub. It's the opening track. It's all called uh, Sun Toucher. I think you'll like this, Steve. Well, I'm looking forward to it. Groove Armada there and Sun Toucher. Did you like that? I didn't mind it, actually. I didn't realise you were a uh, Groove Armada dance music fan. Well, no. Jane played that music today. I knew that before, but I loved it immediately. Yeah. I, I, oh, it's great. It's like yeah. a soundtrack mixed with a little bit of sure, sure. hip-hop and... Oh, it's all it's all like a big... All a big like mix, a big melting pot. Yeah. Yeah. I just wish that's what the world was, really. So where we could so just... Do I, so do I. You know, everyone yeah. could live in harmony. I wish it was an onion. Oh, if only the world were a great big onion. Yeah, 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 yeah. Oh, well, maybe one day. Well, this is nearly the end of the show. Absolutely. It's, uh, it's been uh, Ricky Gervais on XFM 104.9 with Carl. And uh, <laughs> it's been a great show. And, uh, you know, I've just uh, there's been some laughter, there's been some tears, there's, there's been, been some jokes. Tears. There's been some political satire. <laughs> I'd like to think so. But above all, there's been some chat with friends. <laughs> and there's been some bloody great music. Let's some, not forget that. I don't think we need to swear at this... <laughs> time. <laughs> it's play juncture. Yeah. Um, because you make yourself look a cock <laughs> and me look a twat. That's and true. Carl look like a complete <laughs> song for ladies. Um, rarely do you get a chance to play on a radio station Nearly seven minutes. wanker. <laughs> seven minutes worth of Led Zeppelin. But screw it, I thought that, hey. you know, it's the end of the show, we don't give a damn, it's Be an amazing song. Be careful with the language, <laughs> screw damn and bloody, do not a sermon make. <laughs> Rick, hey, it's yeah, a beautiful yeah, song, yeah. if you're not a Zeppelin fan, stick with it's it, it's not roaring rock as you'd expect. The Rain Song from Houses of the Holy, oh. see you next time. See you later. <laughs> it doesn't, doesn't happen. That's what I'm saying, I've never heard anyone saying it like, I've never overheard someone saying, you don't know where the Russian shop is, do you? <laughs> And this is in London where the rates are high. There was this thing, right, Steve? Uh, them old drawings on, like... It was like a panel from a church that someone had uh, that okay, painted. Right, yeah. And I think it was, like, you know, from sort of, like, 1590 or something. Yeah. And it was this, uh, a, a picture of this, uh, this mm. saint, wasn't it? It said 1590. It could be from any time, really. So there's this one there, right, leaning up against the wall. And, uh, <laughs> most of them in there was that Stalin bloke, right? Mm. But there was this little... Right, can I just stop with there? Lenin. Right, okay. all right then. Yeah. So, so he was on all these bits of wood and stuff, but I saw this other little face, right, little fellow with a beard, right? <laughs> so uh, I said, who's this bloke here? He said, oh, uh, the story there, right? He said, uh, it's this little fella, and he got mugged back in Russia. <laughs> This is right, isn't it? This is what he was yeah. saying. He said he got more. It's just that, that term. That, I love that, that term in, in a 16th century Russian wood. Oh, no, I'm being mugged. So, so he, he got mugged. He got happy that. slapped. And, uh, <laughs> and, and he said, I've had enough of this. Right? Yeah. And he went to live in the woods, right? Made like a little shed. Stayed there. People went to visit him. And, and like, if you've got a problem, you knock on his door and you go, oh, I'm sick of it. And he'll sort of say, yeah, I know what you mean. I've, I've moved out of the city and what have you. And he'd make him feel better. And then they go again. Now, why has that man <laughs> got a plaque? <laughs> if he was around now, there's no way he'd have a bit of wood with his face on it, is what I'm saying. If someone had got fed up with living in London or New York or whatever, and they go, I'm going to go and live in the woods, people wouldn't visit him, and he wouldn't get a piece of wood with his face on, is what I'm saying. <laughs> but this man is selling it for about, I think it was about 750 quid for, for this bloke's head. But the chances are that this is... 
either a well-known Russian folktale or it may even be a piece of classic Russian He's literature. He's a saint. He was a saint. Or, oh, okay. He was well, canonised. Yeah. Yeah. Every, everybody was a saint years ago. That seems to be, like, thrown about, doesn't it? Who's a saint now? Name him one now. Yeah, this fellow lived in a woods in a hut. Oh, yeah, that's Saint John or whatever. <sighs> he's not a saint. He's done nothing. If anything, he sort of said, I can't be bothered with living in a city with everyone else. Everyone else has got to put with it, but I can't put up with it. I'm going to live in the woods. Well, if you can't put up with it, you're not good enough, are you? You've got no stamina. <laughs> and yet he gets a plaque, is what I'm saying. It's annoying. Who would, you like to see, who would you like to see get a plaque in the modern world? Who deserves a plaque, in your opinion? Probably, like, nurses and that, who, who do a lot of bad things that I think I couldn't do that. Carrying lungs about and all that. <laughs> but... No, but I, I couldn't do, do you know what I mean? That's that's one job that... Oh. I, my mum wanted me to be a doctor. <laughs> <laughs> Whoa! What was she Whoa. thinking? Oh, what's oh, her expectations this like now? didn't fall far from the tree. Oh, when did she start giving up that dream? At what age did she start going... Carl, you don't need to study your books anymore. Go, go and play with the worms in the garden. When did she sort of, like, let you off that dream? Is it the day that she caught you with a spoon up your nose? <laughs> <laughs> but anyway, talking of emails and that, right, uh, Nick, who's emailed from Australia, right, Melbourne, he's, uh, he's, he's been going on about dolphins and that, problems with dolphins. What problems? Um, he's just saying when, when that, that wind happened... <laughs> Um, it was like a bad wind thing going on. Hold on, wait a minute, what, what bad wind? Um, in, in America, they had that... Hurricane Katrina? Yeah. Right. And there was like a little bay with dolphins in it. And right. that, with all guns on and stuff. What? Oh, whoa, 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 whoa. They use dolphins, don't they? They say they're intelligent animal and stuff. Yeah. Um, and they've got them all like, you know, they've all had the training, they're all like ready for, for battle and stuff. Right. Got like rifles on them. What do you mean rifles? They've got, how can they've they got hold weapons. the rifle? Got, how can they got, hold the rifle? No, it's sort of on a strap and that. It's, what do you I mean it's on a strap? I don't know what they cut them out with, but they're just ready for war. <laughs> what are you off. talking about? Listen, though, that isn't the point. Don't worry about it. Oh, we leave but that one, do we? Is, That's not the point. So let's leave it. So they're swimming about. Right, yeah, with with bay. rifles and berets. Whatever they've got on. Yeah, right, ready for, for battle and stuff. Yeah, ready for uh, battle. Yeah. The wind comes in. The wind comes in. Makes makes a wave and that they get out of the little bay. Yeah. Still all kitted out. We all are, you know, weapons. You're talking that. bollocks. Steve, do you want to look at the. Well, there, there's right? no way. There's loads of dolphins now swimming round, kitted that out with problems. guns and that, with a strap. How, how can a dolphin hold a. Whoa. Again, you've been watching Planet of the Apes. Oh, he's trying to talk to us. What's he saying? He's saying, go ahead, punk, make my day. Look, You're just, talking shit. It's just news to say if, if there's dolphins, you know, if you see a dolphin in that, don't go, oh, it's friendly. Because there's some with weapons now, <laughs> so <laughs> I'm just I'm just reading it out on email. That's that, that'll cover it in that. So bollocks. Carl, can we have some monkey news before I die? All right. Oh, chimpanzee! That monkey news, yeah. <laughs> this monkey that was knocking about called Ollie. It was in this zoo, um, and and it was uh, the only monkey in there, right? And uh, it was getting a bit lonely because like. It was sharing its sort of time with, say, an elephant and a giraffe. And no, that. it doesn't happen. And they, w they didn't really. No, 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 wait, 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 so what happened is the zookeeper right. felt a bit sorry for him. He he started to sort of get pally with him. So at lunchtime, when the zookeeper was sat on the wall having his like ham butties or whatever, mm. he'd sort of go, "You're right," yeah. and and it used to come over closer and closer. Right? Yeah. Anyway, within a month, he was sat on the wall having his lunch with him. Right. That but anyway, so he sat he sat there, and as time goes on, you yeah. know, he's, he's sort of sat with him most of the day. Monkeys yeah. walking around with him helping feed the other animals and that. No. But then what happened is the, the, the zookeeper, at the end of the night when he's like locking up and stuff, yeah. he'd feel bad because he'd be leaving the zoo and like Ollie's sat there and he's like, I'll see you tomorrow and the monkey's like, yeah, all right, see you later. <laughs> Looking all fed up because he's got home to go to and he's still stuck in his, where he's basically working every day. Right, so he's never, <laughs> He's never going home, right? Now he's sleeping at work, the so, monkey. Uh, <laughs> so anyway, the, yeah. the zookeeper goes home and says to his wife, look, Ollie's uh, having a bit of a time at the moment. So she said, oh yeah, what's going on? So said, well, uh, <laughs> she's looking a bit fed up, you know, he's 
He's sick of it. So she said, bring him home. It didn't happen. <laughs> so this anyway, is in your head. So so she said, yeah, bring it home tonight. So anyway, he's, he's looking forward to going into work and night. He sees Ollie. He doesn't tell him straight away. I <laughs> like it's a it's surprise. a surprise for him later. He gets to the end of the day. Yeah. Anyway, he's like, get your coat. He's like, what? Coat? What do you mean, get no, your coat? No, but whatever the equivalent is, right? <laughs> whatever you say to a monkey, it was kind of like, you know, you come in with me sort of thing. Yeah. Right. So he's going, oh, brilliant. Anyway, no, he's not. So Why he do you mean he's going brilliant? He takes Look, it home. So he gets right? his hat and coat. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. And yeah. Yeah. And he I can't believe he's lost, right? He, yeah. goes, he goes back to the zookeeper's house. Everything's going well for about a week and a half. Right. right? Treating him really well. He's sat there, you know, he's having a brandy at night before he goes to bed. <laughs> so he said to his wife, Look, you're at home all day, right? Oh, jeez. I'm going to work. I'll leave it with you, right? Yeah. So while he stays at home. Yeah. Anyway, uh, as time oh. goes on. Yep. A little bit of trouble. Whilst the fella's busy at work, Ollie starts getting a little bit cheeky. Tries it on with the missus. Whoa! Right. Well, this, how this, does a Carl. monkey try it on with the missus? Are you talking well, this, this shit? This is classic monkey news. And how does it try it on with so the missus? So he's a bit drunk, he, he, he stinks of smoke, he tries it on with the missus. How does he try it on with her? I, I don't know all the detail on You don't know any bit. of the details. I don't know the detail on that bit. But you don't know any of the details. No, I don't know the details on that bit. You don't know any of the details. So what happened? So while the zookeeper's away, the monkey did play, <laughs> did the zookeeper's wife reciprocate these affections? She probably went along with that at first. You know, she's cooking at home, getting the tea ready, that's walking past, pinching her arse or whatever. <laughs> And it's, do you know what I mean? It's, it's, it starts off just like it does, you know, with humans. Starts off as a bit of fun, before you know it, you know, split up in the end. Anyway, the zookeeper and the what's it? I think the monkey stayed stayed with the with the woman. Right? <laughs> so, it's all there. It's Honestly, all on email, mate. You, it, the fa your imagination. Well, you should write stories. You get should people, write. You get know. people to look it up. It's look, just put in monkey, chimp, Ollie, and it's it's all there. Well, it's like those people who. Um, you know, those cab drivers that you'll meet at sort of three in the morning who've just got a car yeah. and just went out with a car. Yeah. And just, I'll, I'll, I'll pick people up and charge them. Yeah. I got in one once, I said to him, uh, a guy just pulled up, I said, uh, he said, I was in like uh, East London, I'm going back to uh, North London. I said, uh, yeah, going to uh, Swiss Cottage. He went, sure, hop in. <laughs> we set off. He went, do you know the way? <laughs> I said, well, not really, no. I, th I thought you'd know the way. You're in a cabbie, aren't you? He went, no, I don't really know the way there. I, don't. I, said, I said, have you got an A to Z? He went, no. I thought, well, if you're going to go out just on the, w you know, just winging it as a cab driver, yeah. two things, take a map and a torch. He didn't have yeah. either. He said, uh, well, I'll probably get to Camden. I said, well, I'll direct you from there. Drove on for about five minutes, making conversation. About five minutes later, he went, do you know the way to Camden? <laughs> I thought you knew the way to count. I don't really know the way. I thought I did. <laughs> oh, it was loot. I mean, let I mean, me out. You know, four yeah, quid. Exactly. And that's I, I can't. I don't know who's got that sort of time on their hands that they just think it's three in the morning. I'm, I'm at a loose end. Mm. I think I'll go out doing a bit of cabbing. Wow. Well, yeah. Because your dad was a cabbie, wasn't he? Yeah, he was. Yeah, couldn't stand it, but it's, it's good money. He was a prof He wasn't like a chancer though. Black what cab, was black cab. What was he? What was he doing when he put that little Forrest Gump in a in a weedy bin? That was uh, that was part of the cab company thing. They had to do like a charity event. Once a year, and he did it one year. Never asked him again. Tell the story again. I I no, I'd rather not because we, we got a few sort of uh, complaints about it. Why? Why do you get complaints about it? Because it's because he put a kid in a bin, and it's not the thing to do. <laughs> <laughs> so. But we could use it as a sort of sobering lesson for people. <laughs> yeah, tell it like a tell it like a you know don't yeah. you shouldn't do it. No, it's, it's I, yeah, but that's how I did it last time. But people still didn't like it. All the stuff I tell you, I don't, you know, we don't take the mickey out of people on purpose. No. We, it's real life, innit? And mm. that goes on in life. Yeah. My dad I, was saying that in hospital, though. Do you know I was in hospital? Yeah. You know, he did some jokes about old people and that. And he said, at the end of the day, if something makes you laugh, it's funny. Mm. And if it makes you laugh, you can't help laughing, can you? Do you True know what enough. I mean? So, what are you meant to do? <laughs> <laughs> and yeah. laughing's good for you. Yeah. So, even But being laughed at isn't as good for you, is it? No, but there's probably more people laughing at one person, so if you balance it out, <laughs> there's only one person who's upset and there's a bunch of people laughing. <laughs> so, it's, it's... That's genius! Give me an example of that, give me an example. Well, for instance, Carl Pilkington as he talks and the people listening. <laughs> yeah, yeah, no, give me an example of like, so, uh, uh, you know... I can't, well, I can't because, again, that's what I'm saying, I can't tell you the story, because yeah. there might be someone out there who... This person might even be listening and think, I forgot about that and you brought it all back to me. <laughs> Yeah. So, so I'd I prefer to leave it, but I think people know- <laughs> Why did he put him in the bin in the first place? Because he was getting out of hand. What was he doing, though? You see, I can't explain- You can't! Don't be silly! I prefer to- to leave it, honestly. What, what, what was he doing? Was he annoying him? 
he was annoying me dad and the other people in the cab. Right. And he thought, how can I deal with this mm. before it gets too out of hand? Yeah. He pulled over and put the lad in a wheelie bin. <laughs> 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 I'm gonna pass. So we'll, we'll leave that. <laughs> <laughs> and then, oh God. Right. Yeah. Yeah. Right. How old was the kid? Um, <laughs> I'm not sure, but I mean, it was a trip to sort of Blackpool. So <laughs> I'm guessing. <laughs> Do you think it was one of the rides? 17. This is uh, rubbish. 17? Yeah. Oh, he's quite an old lad then. So, so a big lad. Yeah. <laughs> but let's. let's uh, did he pick him up? He picks him up and put him in a wheelie bin. <laughs> <laughs> and then on the way back, he got him back again. He said, "Right, you won't do that again." On the way back, yeah, he left him there for a bit. He left him there. What? They went to Blackpool yeah. and he left the kid in the wheelie bin. Yeah. Did but, he? Yeah. What was the kid in the wheelie bin when he drove back? Yeah. Did he not get out? No, because how do you get out? It's tricky, isn't it? And <laughs> he wasn't a normal kid, was he? Let's let's leave it. <laughs> <laughs> he wasn't a normal kid. Right, right then. So uh... is your father in prison? <laughs> Oh, I think he should be. Can we oh. put a song on? Yeah, go on then. Feeder, come back around, XFM, 104.9, Ricky Gervais, Steve Merchant, Carl Pilkerton. I asked Carl in the week, right, what animal would he never trust? <laughs> Even if he, he got to know it and it was a pet and everything, what animal would he never trust? What was it? Was this, uh, a wasp? Yeah. <laughs> 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 Why wouldn't you trust a wasp, Carl? I just think that, uh um, They're shifty? All, all other animals, if you get them at an early age, <laughs> you can sort of <laughs> make them like you. You can train them, A wasp. Nothing. Never. <laughs> <laughs> Is there anything you- do you think there's anything you could do that would kind of, uh, win the favour and win the trust of a wasp? What would you have to do, do you think? Well, if you had it from a little grub? Yeah. And you fed it- you had it's favourite marmalade. It doesn't affect it though, does it? A bee <laughs> dies, doesn't it, if it does it, so it's not gonna, like, use it willy-nilly. <laughs> <laughs> That's easy for you to say. But a wasp. <laughs> I, I, I Do you, what, they, you think they sting arbitrarily? They just sting for the fun of it? They're, like, like sort of, like, delinquent insects? Like, delinquent I think so, cos last yeah. night, right, I mean, this is part of educating Ricky in a way, but something I learned last night mm. was that tarantulas only bite you if you annoy it. <laughs> Right. They don't, they don't, mm. do you know how people say, oh, if you're in a sleeping bag living in a jungle, a spider will get in there and it'll bite you. Yeah, yeah. Apparently not, you've got to really annoy it. The thing that it really hates is having its leg sort of twisted. <laughs> it hates having its leg twisted. <laughs> right. Uh, yeah. But, but that's more for- Is that what they said in a documentary? <laughs> No, no, actually, said, almost also, certainly not, Steve. <laughs> almost certainly not. Were you watching not. a documentary? No, 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 I was reading it. Oh, you're reading it. And, um, it was this guy- Was it scrawled on the wall screen <laughs> like a public toilet? No, I'll tell <laughs> no, you, no. I'll, I'll tell you more about that later. Oh, it's right, part of the, uh, thing. Okay. So, if part you don't trust the, the evil wasp, what, uh, animal do you trust? What's your favourite Well, I, I also, uh, said to him, right, supposing your, your mind, right, was put- your mind got put into any animal, right, and you've got to get from where you are now, right, to Glasgow, right, as an animal, right, but the authorities will be looking out for it. <laughs> okay. And it's shooting you, right? And, uh, what, what, you went through loads, didn't you? I was thinking about it for- th it must have took me about an hour. So your yeah. mind- sorry, your mind has been put into an animal. animal yeah, so it's you and, and you, this animal thinking right, yeah. you've got to get to somewhere. But, the, but the maybe, maybe know you're in the animal? Yeah, maybe your body is in Glasgow or something and you've got to get this animal to get to you so it can transfer its mind back into your body. But yeah. the but government knows that I'm- Oh, <laughs> we've all had that conversation. <laughs> So the government, the government's going, Carl can't have yeah, his own brain back. I, I only have it with Carl, we don't yeah, like these conversations, yeah. go on, yeah. So yeah, so you're, you're on the way. So think about it, you, you think about it just for a second, so, let's recap. Your, <laughs> your body's in Scotland. Right. He's the only one that takes my question seriously. Your, your brain is in London. Uh-huh. Right? Yeah. And there's like loads of security and stuff looking out in the sky for animals or looking on, on the field seeing what's trying- looking a bit suspicious. <laughs> yeah. Trying- trying to get to your body- And they're shooting the brain, them. And they're shooting everything and killing all the animals. What thing would you pick to get your brain to Scotland that wouldn't get caught? And I reckon that I've- I've got the answer. A wasp? No, cos think about it, a lot of people get irritated if it sort of wanted to get a lift <laughs> in a car going down the motorway, if someone's driving it's a wasp yeah. in the car, it's a yeah. nightmare. Yeah, 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 sure. <laughs> cause a right accident. Yeah. So think of something that people wouldn't, you know. And the clock's ticking as well. You you're know, taking you're... this really very seriously, yeah. aren't you, Carl? You've only got a couple you of- thought, You've given this a lot of thought, haven't you? You have. Yeah. Um, so, uh, something with speed. 
Yeah, it's something got that a... can travel quite speedily. Well, well, that's, yeah. well and something that's also inconspicuous. Yeah, yeah. Is yeah. that the sort of thing you're? you're oh, yeah. That's what you're doing. Yeah. Um, and is it a, is it a creature that's uh, that's native to this country? Yeah. Right. Yeah, it is. I've got no idea, Carl. What are you think? Tell him. A flea. A flea. Think Tell him why. It. Think about it. Um, right, this flea. It's got my brain. Mm. It's dead small, the flea. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks right. for clearing that up. Yeah. And it's, it, so it goes, right, I've got to get to Scotland. So it jumps on someone who's going to Euston Station. Right. They, they don't know it's there. No. The government can't see it. Government <laughs> 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 can't see it, Steve! <laughs> think about <laughs> that then. Think if you had just tuned in. Yeah. Now, uh, people get on the train, go to Glasgow or Edinburgh, wherever in Scotland mm. it is. It jumps off, it goes, right. Uh, jumps on someone else who's going the way it needs to go. Gets there, still no one's seen it. Jumps on me, I get my brain back. Yeah. The government are like, Phew. But, and you feel confident that your brain would fit in that of a fleas? Well, you said there was no problem with the size of it. You said you could- There certainly wouldn't be. So. No. <laughs> no. You, I, I pretty much you could download everything you know into a flea. Yeah. <laughs> so, so, that's genius. Yeah. yeah. That's, uh, What would you thinking. rather have, right? Um, roller skate feet, and there's little wheels, right? Uh, Chopstick hands, yeah. Mm. Instead of hands, chopsticks instead of hands, wheels instead of feet. Yeah. Right. Or acne. Uh, how big are the wheels? <laughs> <laughs> Can I take you guys back to the old school? Do you mind if we take them, take it back to the old school? Well, yeah. What are you going to do? What are uh, you going to lay on me? No, I just maybe a bit of a Del Sol. Yeah. Is that wrong? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Is it wrong yeah. going back to the old school? No, 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 no. We don't no, need no, to go. No, no, no. As long as as long as it's vinyl shit. <laughs> it is indeed. Slam it on. I know, but when- There we go.